and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for another Jeskai Hero League. You may remember us playing this deck last week um, and it went really well. We smashed the people with heroic reinforcements. So we're going to go ahead and we're replaying it here. We got another donation to run it back. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's, you know, our 75 isn't exactly the same, but it's, you know, same kind of thing. But Hero Heroic Reinforcements is just such a strong card that really hasn't been played enough, in my opinion. Um, even, you know, by me too. Like, I'm guilty of that too. I haven't played enough of this card. But yeah, you get to make your two 1-1 one, one soldiers, and then until end of turn, all of your creatures get plus one, plus one, and gain haste as well. This card works... It, so it just finishes games off really fast, especially chaining like a hero, Heroic Reinforcements one turn and then another turn after that. Just works really well with the Hero Precinct 1, of course. They can go wide with the creatures, and then the Heroic Reinforcements can give your creatures haste and pump them and everything like that. So yeah, we're kind of aggressively slanted, but then we also are using blue here for some defensive elements with Deputy of Detentions and Teferi Time Ravelers. You know, as we know, Teferi Time Raveler is just a really, really good tempo card, and this deck can take full advantage of that with all these uh, haste creatures, you know, with our Stormkins and our Tajiks, Heroic Reinforcements, Aurelia's basically haste there, and everything like that. We can do some some neat tricks with Teferi also, like bouncing History Banalia to reset History Banalia if we want. Doesn't happen too often, but we can. We can. Um... So yeah, let's let's give this one a try. We're trying out Rampaging Ferocidons. I, we didn't have these in our sideboards last time, but uh, the Ferocidons looked really good with Mono Red Aggro a little bit ago. So let's give them a try here as well. All right, so let's get this going. So we got Jeskai Hero. All right, so with the donation decks, we're going to go through a league, see if we can get that five win dream before we get the two losses. We did last time with... Jeskai Hero here. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, the, the decks we used so far today, they all felt pretty good. Um, yeah, like all three of them felt felt real good, to be honest. Uh, Mono Red with Ferocidon was, was awesome. The uh, Kalia and Friends could have maybe been a 5-0 instead of 4-1, but I... We were we we had a tough matchup the last game, but but I liked my chances. Games two and three after sideboarding, but then I I took too long during the sideboarding though, and so we we didn't get to submit our sideboard, and that really hurt us. I've always liked green has always been my favorite color in Magic. I've always liked green decks. Um, I like playing a bunch of getting a lot of permanence in play. And. And everything and um, longer games where we have lots of permanents in play and always find those to be pretty fun. And green's the best color doing that. I like game. I like game objects. Ferocidon got unbanned in best of three at the end of last month. So it's it's legal now, you know, for the next. It's still it's legal now for the next twelve days before rotation. All right, curves worked out perfectly. If we couldn't go back to any plane in Magic, which one? All right, so which which plane do I not want to go back to? That's a tough question for me to answer because I I'm the kind of person that that can really appreciate everything for what it is, and so like there's not really a, a plane that I just completely dislike because I kind of appreciate everything for what it is. I would say that. Of recent sets, I'm really disappointed by Kaladesh. Um, but that's more of like the the set they designed more than.
more than the plane itself. Um, I guess the Zen. I guess the Zendikar planes. The last Zendikar wasn't wasn't spectacular. Yeah, like I'm I'm not a huge fan of like Ulamog Emrakul, like that kind of stuff in standard. I'm not a, a real big fan of like just super expensive, powerful effects that just win win the game on their own kind of thing. Yeah, I'm expecting Gilded Goose to see... I'm, I'm expecting most Gilded Goose decks to also be Oko decks, where Oko provides fuel for Gilded Goose, and also Oko does a whole lot more. Yeah, I would like Zendikar eldrazi -less. Okay, um, turn next week. Not sure what deck to run. Most of the field will run Scape Shift, Ramp, Vampires. It's so it all. It's also kind of like depending on what what type of deck you want to play. But I mean, I I think the Golos Field of the Dead decks are really good. But I also think the Mono Red with Ferocity, like that that Mono Red seventy five I just played. I would be. I'd be satisfied playing that deck against those other kind of decks. Like I think I think it's a good list against Scape Shift and Ramp and Vampires. GG's. Probably not going to get fetch lands again. Okay, so... Alright, so there is a Zendikar without Eldrazi coming up pretty soon. Within the next year. So that, that would be interesting. Is my opponent playing Nexus? Possibly. We didn't get to see very much. We only saw just a couple of ramp, ramp creatures and a Brontodon. We really didn't see very much. I don't think I have anything here that I necessarily want to sideboard. Possible that I should be playing Ferocidon instead of Deputy, but they may not have that much removal for Deputy. But it seems like a matchup that Ferocidon would be pretty good, and I... I, mean, I could play Ferocidon instead of Tajik. Maybe I do that. Maybe I do that. I guess just yeah, disdainful stroke wouldn't be bad. Maybe just Sample Stroke instead of Lightning Strike. All right, let's try this. I think I like the Response Resurgence for this matchup. I think that we could get a Surprise Resurgence kill here. Uh, mono Red or like the Golos Field of the Dead deck. That one always seems pretty impressive playing against it. I don't have a specific list to send you with that one. That's just like uh, as far as playing against it kind of thing. All right, good. Last time we needed to draw spells. This time we need to draw lands. And so far, last time we drew spells. And first draw stuff here was a land. So 
So far, so good. I shouldn't have said anything. This could be a crazy couple of turns here, though. We just, you know, go reinforcements, reinforcements, reinforcements over and over and over. Boo. So Deputy's just fine against Voracious Hydra, but Voracious Hydra is also just a 2 3. I'm not really that scared of a 2 3. I'd rather Deputy like a, a Nissa, for example, something like Nissa is a whole lot scarier. Stop. I've never been impressed with Kethis myself. Never been too impressed with that deck. Alright, we need that fourth land. Fourth land. Fourth land. Demir Informant? That card was pretty far down the list of cards I expected. So the, it's Surveil 2 and they just kept both cards immediately? It's got to be a bad sign for me. Correct, yes. If you if you reanimate a Voracious Hydra with Blood for Bones, it will come back as, a, as an 0-1. Yeah, I, I drafted a good amount of those. I, I used to play a lot of Guilds of Ravnica draft to build up the arena collection before a while ago. Yeah, I haven't seen too many of those since since then. Yeah, I would Mirrodin's on my my less than it's not one of Mirrodin's not one of my favorite planes either um honestly I don't know if if green white value town is good again in modern I I haven't played modern since before Arclight Phoenix. It's been a year since I played modern, so I don't know. I know that Ren and Six card is really popular, and that card is it's like seems like it would be really annoying at just killing noble hierarchs and birds of paradises. That's about all I got. So really, I already got to um, mentor onto the deputy, which is what I wanted to do anyway. And so I'm just pumping up one of these two twos instead of pumping up Aurelia. As far as the planes go, I kind of feel like the multicolor planes are have produced better standard formats than um, and more enjoyable to play more than like the colorless planes, which is why I'm not real big on Mirrodin. 
I like the the multicolor planes more. Hmm. So we could bounce Hydroid Crasis. We could bounce our own creature back to our hand. But I'm not going to do either. I'm going to give them a couple of O1s. Fight, fight, fight. Choose the fight. Nah, they doubled. You like the monocolor formats? See, like the thing about the monocolored formats is it's there's not there's not just like a ton of variety to do. So I feel like like the multicolor formats, like you can I feel like you can make many more decks. You know, you can make many more like three color decks, like all the two color decks and all the three color decks are all kind of viable with all the different gold cards and regular cards you can put in them, and you know it makes you like twenty different color combinations there that are all viable and usually the single color ones are as well and I, I like that more I like being able to play all sorts of like mix and mix and match all sorts of different stuff protect you um I might have had lethal previously I suppose I'm not sure so they have four blockers So, you know, definitely thinking they're going to, like, Krasis is going to block Aurelia, right? So, I don't want to pump up Aurelia. Yeah, since I top decked a land with Teferi, if I would have just played... I don't I don't think it was lethal, but I don't know. Maybe it was. Well, we're trying to go wide here. Yeah, so like if I did not bounce Deputy, if I would have bounced something else with Teferi, if I would have bounced one of their creatures and then draw land, then yeah, then that would have been lethal. So if I would have just not targeted Deputy to begin with, if I didn't go that line and then draw land, yeah, could have had lethal there. Looks like they're in a tough spot, I suppose. They're mousing over lots and lots of stuff. All right, that'll keep them alive for a little bit. Let's try this.
I make an attack there, we lose three creatures and just do one damage to them. It's not worth an attack. Yeah, I can see that. Um, bouncing our Sky Knight, because at the, at the very worst, if we don't draw land, we get to just play the Sky Knight again. Yeah, that was probably a better line. But I got too cute. Seriously? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Oh, is right. Wish we had a Tristani. So I'm glad that we sideboarded in Disdainful Strokes. Obviously, we didn't draw them, so it didn't matter, but I'm glad we had them in our deck. We're going to have them in our deck for next time also. Hey, Zach, thank you so much. Okay. Got some Jeskai control. You some get some eyes on that. All right. Um. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me get. Let me get you a better link here. Here. Zach, can you use that, that link? Copy and paste it there. All right, let's get this third disdainful stroke in. for the resurgence. <clears throat> I Yeah, I like I like Eldraine. Um I am still I'm still hoping to see something that's good against Field of the Dead. I don't think we've seen that yet. That's the thing I've been disappointed in. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Zach. Alright, so would you like me to do... So you have a couple options there. Zach, you want to do the deck tech on stream? We'll do that after... After the the video, after this league though, because after the recording, um, for the YouTube channel and everything, so you could do the the on stream deck tech or which that's why I assume that you would like, and then you know we have chat helps us out and everything, and we talk about the deck, um, or other option. I know some people don't don't want to have their their decks up on stream. Don't want people to be too critical on it, kind of thing. So, other option is I just, uh, after this league, I'll spend some time DMing you about the deck and everything. Okay, so we'll do the on stream one. Okay, perfect. That'll do. Alright, gonna get Aurelia down here. Even though Ferocidon has. Like, we don't have to worry about the informant blocking, because Ferocidon has Menace. But I think that still just pumping it is the thing to do that. Um, I'm not too scared of like what they're going to play this next turn, even though I guess it could be Nyssa, but I think getting Aurelia in play first and then hold, you know, trying to hold up Disdainful Stroke after this, um, is what I want to do and good. Cause now, cause the next turn they'll have six mana where they can have mass manipulation, um, after this, but I guess they could have just had like five land, five mana, um, Voracious Hydra kill for Rossidon. Like, that would have been annoying. Ugh. Not gonna... I'm just holding up Disdainful Stroke. Not gonna go with Stor Stormkin there. Uh... 
Hey, Pink Cloud. All right, cool. So yeah, just just stick around, Zach. We'll do deck tech on it after after the Just Guy Hero video here. Which it looks like we're going to be one to know. I don't really know how our opponent's going to get out of this. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Bonus Factory. Jeez. All right, one to know. Thanks, Candace. Yeah, looked like I could have, with different lines, I could have got the second game, but. Came back, finished out the third game pretty quickly. All good. <laughs> Is there anything more satisfying than watching your opponent take forever to cast a big spell? All the while, you know you're going to snap counter it. That is pretty satisfying. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go the Sky Knight Vanguard, actually. I wanna play that into Tajik. Nope. That's gone. If I draw a land, I guess I'm probably going to go Hero Stormkin. I know only a hmm. open mind. I don't know. So I do need to be worried about Kaya's Wrath. I have reached my limit. Though also, but then I also want to get stuff out of my hand because of Thought Erasure, so it's just a, a conundrum here. They kept on top pretty quickly. Gonna keep the Hallowed Fountain. So they have. They have Basilica Bell Hunt. We'll discard the Hallowed Fountain, but that would also just be really bad for us if they have Basilica Bell Hunt. Kept on top. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Trust me. I have a plan. I really don't trust you, Teferi. It's 
So close. Only time will tell. Um, if so, I was thinking about playing. If I played Aurelia on the Stormkin, you know, like just target that. We could have we could have attacked for five last turn. They were at nine, so we could have attacked for five, and then the lightning strike would have been eight, but they were at nine. So I just went with the hero, where I think I'd rather have hero die to a um a sweeper if they find a sweeper. All right, cool. I was going to bolt them here. All right, Gideon is awesome. That's kind of about it, though. We just want these Gideons. Let's see. Disdainful Stroke isn't too good. You know, they have, like, the three-mana Teferi. They can keep us from countering it. But I guess we have a lot of ways to kill Teferi, though. I don't like Deputy of Detention against the Kaiserat deck in the slightest. So yeah, let's we'll play a couple of disdainful strokes, try to counter a wrath. Um I think I'm just gonna do that. I don't really like Ferocidon that much in this matchup. Between like cast down Othakaya, other whatever spells they got. Like they, they can answer that pretty easily. I think I like all these three drops more. I think all those three drops are harder for them to deal with than Ferocidon. Even though Ferocidon does keep them from gaining life and they have a lot of life gain. But I don't think this is really the Ferocidon matchup. I think that's more for the the green creature decks. That's where I want that card real bad. Hmm. Putting back one of the red cards. They're all very similar um stormkin is the the worst of the three but it also costs the least put back put back reinforcements cool caesar called the same thing reinforcements Needs a rest. All right, Narset down. Gideon Jura, at your service. Prepare for battle. Definitely really like Gideon. Gideon's not an easy one for them to deal with. Right on schedule. Don't worry, I got this. No land. Really? Well then. Your light will cleave the darkness. I want to play one creature anyway. Here, but you know, assuming they could probably oath the Stormkin. Bleh. I will lend you my strength. But with Kaya's Wrath out there, I don't I don't want to play more than one creature anyway. Yeah, we're, we're in game two. This little dot here says, says that I've won one game. Our opponent does not have a dot, so they have not won a game. So we're in game two. Um, 
We're playing Jeskai Hero now. Our opponent's playing Esper Control. That's really bad. Gideon was our main hope. We don't see too much Vrasis Contempt in Esper Control, but that was a perfect card. Actual game name? Magic the Gathering. That's what the MTG stands for, Magic the Gathering. Oh, they do have Bell Haunt? Gross. Alright, I need to keep a land in hand. Alright, they got this one. Flood. Alright, well, I'm glad we brought in the, the Disdainful Strokes. I feel really good about the Disdainful Strokes with seeing what we've seen from our opponent. I honestly really like how I sideboarded. I guess Ferocidon may be better than Lightning Strike. No. I'll take Lightning Strike. <laughs> Todd promised earlier this week you would be practice becoming a better magic player by not drawing too many lands. I'm trying. It's still difficult. <laughs> no, no chance for glory this time. I guess that that card got got cut. Unfortunately, it's a fun one. Oh, darn! My plan was to just play was to play hero. I think that's the better card to play there and save the haste creature, but. I didn't because of Legion's End. You know, like we we saw Legion's End game one. That would have been, you know, it's pretty devastating if we uh, play one hero and then they Legion's End and take get the other hero as well. I would like to draw a Disdainful Stroke. That would be the card that I would like to draw more than any other card. I believe in you. Oh, I should have done indestructible. We don't need to extend any more into Akaya's Wrath.
or Cry of the Carnarium. Aurelia pumping up Gideon. Finish it off. GG's. Alright, 2-0. and 2-0. and oh. Um, I do not have any upgrades to recommend on the red, white, green, the Naya commander deck. If anybody in chat um, has some some stuff to recommend to help out uh, Ghost Nappa there. GG's Bandit. Hey, we got three pair. We could probably keep this because our opponent's not going to... Like, they're not going to beat three pair, right? Like, three pair with Sky Knight Kicker. Not the best kicker. Uh, maybe that's not the best kicker. I guess we'll shuffle. We'll see if we can get a better one. Alright, we'll try this. <laughs> I dare you to keep this in. Uh, this is a really good hand here with everything looking good. Um, I mean, Aurelia is just a strong card, though. I honestly don't know what to put back. Like this is this is just like a good curve. Like we definitely want hero, and then history, and then I guess it's either Tajik or Aurelia. Which I guess that means we keep Aurelia. But if we don't find the fourth land, I won't feel as good about that. So we got the land, so we're good there. Oh, man. That's a card. That's a lot of damage next turn. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can attack for 15 next turn. I think we just do the whole attack for 15 thing. Yeah, because then we have even if they even if they time wipe, we have Tajik to do the extra three. It's like their best play is time wipe, and they're still dead. <laughs> Heroic reinforcements is man, that's a lot of damage. That's some pressure right there. I don't really need to show anything else. We already have lethal. Okay, so this is a Ferocidon matchup, kind of. The thing is, is like Deputy is like pretty good against all those tokens. And I'd want to cut Deputy to play for Ossidon. Yep, sure is, Kendis. Yeah, sure is. I just have two donation decks for tomorrow. Every other time slot in the future is is good, but just third and fourth tomorrow. I have two decks for. That's all that's that I have on the docket. Um, so yeah, like Ferocidon, Disdainful Stroke, I right, we're definitely just playing the Disdainful Strokes over Lightning Strike, and I, I don't love Sky Knight Vanguard, Sky Knight Vanguard's a little slow, maybe we don't really need Teferi, actually maybe that's the card we cut, 
is to ferry and bring these things back in. I'll play the one flame sweep. Yeah, donation decks are twenty dollars. Like, whenever if you want a donation deck, uh, just you know, send a link to the deck and let me know what day, what time slot you want me to play your deck. You know, first, second, third, or fourth, and what day. Um, and then any other instructions if you have any. Like, if you if you want me to play it in ranked instead of in a league, like I always do, um, or anything like that. If you want me to. Um, all right, we're at Jessica, Jessica Hero round three. All right, next Saturday as well. Should you put Chance for Glory back in? I think Chance for Glory is uh, a fun card, but maybe not necessarily a, a good card. It's very similar to Resurgence, though, as far as power level goes. They're very similar. Hero and Ferocidon is a little bit awkward how each creature that we get into come into play from Hero is going to do a damage to us. No. But I liked playing Ferocidon here because then I was going to be able to Stormkin then Disdainful Stroke. So we can swing for 10 next turn. Hmm. So I want to play Aurelia. Because it really means we kill them next turn, but the problem is if they have time wipe. I feel like they probably would have played time wipe this past turn, though, right? But I guess they played like tap land. Really, time wipe's the problem here. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the win next turn. We win if they don't have time wipe. I'm gonna go for that. Alright, there we go. I guess they could have a counter spell. Nope. GG's. Alright, resurgence. Do you think they're expecting the resurgence? I guess it was lethal without resurgence. But. Oh well. Jess got hero. 3 0. Just wins, wins games. Yeah, it was kind of exact lethal. We had another attack step, so like we were going to be able to do a whole lot more damage. So it was like the first attack step got us exact lethal, but we were going to be able to do another f four. Uh, Five, six, seven, eight, uh, 12, 13, 14, either 14 or 15. I don't remember if I had two one ones or I think I just only had two one ones attacking. So I think 14. If I had three one ones attacking, then 15. So we're going to do a lot more damage still. But. Oh, so let me write down we got Jeskai Hero for next Saturday.
No, I haven't been theory crafting any decks for a day one standard with the new format quite yet. I really right now, um, just kind of feeling like Sultai is going to be really good. Um, so that's, I guess that's kind of like the, the first theory craft deck is like, uh, Oko with Gilded Goose and Questing Beast, and then just like normal Sultai cards, like, you know, like Risen Reef, all the, the elemental stuff, Hydroid Crisis, um, Yurok, all that kind of stuff. Um, Agent of Treachery at the top end, like Cyborg and stuff. And then you have your you have your ability to go Thought Erasure, Assassin's Trophy, Legion's End, whatever, Noxious Grass, whatever interaction you really want. Yeah, Sultai has they just have the one. No, no, they have the two. So they have they have the because you have you have because the other thing that Sultai is really good at is you have a lot of green duels for like Gilded Goose because you can play Temple of Malady and Temple of Epiphany if you want. I know like. The temples are slower, but you have eight temples. You have 12 shocks. Um, hmm. Let's slow this down. Slow hand. I look like just got control right now. There we go. I can strike and stormkin next turn. Oh, what's up, good mate? <laughs> you realize you're yeah, we're okay. Yeah, to get to get into the sub only Discord, honestly. Not not a ton happening there, but I always try to certainly respond to any questions and everything in there. Um, you know, if you have me and everything, but it's it's kind of like the just all the normal Discord really. But to to get in there, here we go, and also just to have the um, just to have like the to have it show up that you're a subscriber while you're in the Discord. What you need to do is link your Twitch and Discord um, accounts together. So you have to you have to link those two together. When you do link them to, and so then it just it just connects automatically. Basically, when you do it, um, it takes about, and it it can take like up to like an hour or so for it to show up. So it's, you know, if you link them, it doesn't automatically show it. It, I think it's something, I think really what it is 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 basically Discord updates like every hour, and so like whenever the next time it updates. That's more like um, it. Then I'll show you as a subscriber and you, you're in the sub-only room and everything like that. As far as exactly how to do that, I'd recommend just Google, just Google search just how, how to link Twitch and Discord. It's, it's very easy. I just don't know exactly how to do it off the top of my head. I've got time. So I'm sure somebody in chat has done that recently and knows as well, though. All right, so Esper Hero could definitely have Basilica Bell Haunt. I'll keep this Glacial Fortress over here. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Let's take it back. This might be a bad idea. Hmm. I really should have seen that coming. Definitely consider just playing the deputy at attention down. I won't hide from the world any longer. Keep up the pace. I just never really liked Deputy Attention in this matchup. It's very easy to kill, then they get their Teferi back, and I don't like that. 
I know I could deputy the Teferi, then attack them for six. But I'm just gonna get Teferi out of here. We will meet again. All right, GG's. Going to game two. So Gideon, Disdainful Stroke. Now the, now the fact that they are Bolas Citadel does make me want to play for Rossidon more. than what I wanted to without it. So many threes, though. That's fine, though. That's fine. Here we go. Game number two. This isn't the best hand. I, I could certainly see us losing this game. I could also see it working out, though. Well, I forgot my opponent was hero. I probably should have kept in a couple strikes more than what I did. This is, yeah, the avatar over here, this is Lazav. Lazav the Multifarious, the the leader of House Demir. Yay, no Teferi. So yeah, Lazav is not a Planeswalker. The Demir Mastermind. Yeah, that. Yeah, we're going Just Guy Hero here. We're 3 0 and we're up a game. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. 
So they're willing to trade hero and hero and oath of Kaya to kill Aurelia. It's not a bad trade for me. Hero is going to be really hard to beat. I think I'm willing to oath of Kaya have Aurelia die. Stop. I can no longer stand Ugh. by and watch. No, I am not making this up as I go. Gross. All right, so I need to keep some lightning strikes in. This might be a bad idea. I need to keep the lightning strikes in. The sample stroke looked horrendous there, but it's the thing about thought erasure, it does make that look pretty bad. Hmm. So I need to kill Hero of Precinct 1. Lightning Strike needs... Like, I need to be able to kill Hero of Precinct 1. Lightning Strike can do that. And also, like... Um, you know, we, we could kill Little Teferi and Narset. And even, like, the 2-3, stuff like that with Lightning Strike. And then also, if they... If we have, like, that last game where we have History Banalia with multiple tokens... Or even hero with a bunch of tokens, and they legions end like last time they legions end and took everything. With that, if if they do that again, we can lightning strike our own creature to make sure that their legions end doesn't do that. Uh, needed the white mana there for the Gideon. Responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. Trust me, I have a plan.
So to keep Teferi around, they have to block with both of their things, which don't expect them to you do that. I mean, just a Tyrant Scorn, and we're, like, dead, because Tyrant Scorn just gained three creatures. Like, triple hero precinct one is impossible to beat. Ugh. I gotta have Tyrant Scorn, too. Oh, they're mousing over their stuff. evil from this plane um I will lend you my strength go with the indestructible here so we get to like attack with a, a two two and it still stay around. Kind of force the jump block. Not going with life link because I'm I'm kind of assuming they're gonna attack with a bunch of stuff to kill Gideon. And we already get to gain a lot of life in that respect. Of course, worst case scenario for me was them hitting that fifth land and being able to do that before I had the ability to. Hold up Disdainful Stroke for a turn. That was worst case scenario. I am not quite indestructible. I am here to aid in the assault. Your light will cleave the darkness. All right, so now we're doing lifelink up top. Um, not sure what my favorite holiday is. Maybe... I'm not like a huge holiday person. Maybe Thanksgiving is the food. Really like turkey and uh, mashed potatoes and stuffing and gravy and green beans and all that kind of stuff. All right, so that was a clutch disdainful stroke there. We need some pump. Need a
um, you know, heroic reinforcements or a, a lightning stormkin or a lightning strike. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's like that's eight cards that that are lethal. So wait, so that's attacking me. Seven of these are attacking Gideon, and that thing's attacking me. So Gideon's gonna die. So we just do this. Blocks. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I'll do brawl on stream. Definitely. Ferocidon would have been really nice also. This would have been a perfect time to draw Ferocidon as well. Looks like my opponent probably has this. So I have to block a hero or I die. If I make this block, I go to one. It's not really a difference between one and two. Heroic reinforcement still doesn't save me though, because I get three creatures with the hero. Four heroes just killed me. Yeah, there's not a not any difference here. So I need lightning stormkin or lightning strike. That thing doesn't have haste. Very good game. GG's. I feel like I probably could have got one extra point of damage in somewhere. But just way too many hero precinct ones. Yeah, they had all four. Card's so good. Yeah, GG's there, good mate. GG's. Yeah, if I if I did not play yeah. If I did not play Gideon, if I held up Disdainful Stroke, could have countered the first enter the God Eternals, but I don't, we would have got an extra flyer to attack, I suppose. I don't know if that would have got us there, though. So right now I'm probably going to go like Time Raveler, bounce the token to just be like a removal spell plus draw a card. I haven't seen too many Pixar films. I guess I'd say my favorite is um, uh, Finding Nemo.
I did not win the last match. We did not get good. We did not top deck a, a win. We just drew a couple of lands at the end. Bunch of one toughness stuff. They just need one more permanent to turn on Aspirant, so they're going to turn on Aspirant. Wally's a good one, too. Yeah, Wally, that's a good video. That's a good movie. I never saw The Incredibles. I don't think I ever saw Up either. I don't think I saw either of those. Poor History of Benalia. Keep on getting legions ended with our History of Benalia tokens. <clears throat> Poor History. So every Pixar movie, with the exception of Cars and Planes, is good. No, the the cat and the dog don't really get along. Uh, it's really the the dogs. Um, like they're they're nice to Hawkeye all the time. They're they're never mean to Hawkeye, but Hawkeye is just a, is too scared of them. Like they're big and everything, and Hawkeye is just too scared of the dogs. So flame sweep, lava coil in kind of think like Teferi out. Flame sweep's just kinda of awkward in this deck. I feel like killing everything that we play. I'm sure my opponent's bringing in Noxious Grasp, which is not great for my Lyra Dawnbringer, but oh well. Um, yeah, Puppy is a Shiba Inu. And... Also have Harvey. I got the Sky Knight. It's pretty small. Harvey's like a an Australian Shepherd mix, I think. Um, with something else, I'm not. She's a some kind of dog that's close. Something like that. They're both just amazing dogs that um, I never trained either one, and they've never like gone to the bathroom inside or anything ever, and they've never like torn stuff up or like they've just been the just the best acting dogs. They're very, very good. Yeah, they yeah they stay in the they they stay in the living room and the kitchen and you know, like that whole area, like dining room, living room, kitchen, like that area where, um, where Hawkeye is not. Haw Hawkeye stays in my room here, and that's that's where I you know I stream here in my room. 
<clears throat> this is Hawkeye's room too. I think I'm just going to deputy the knight. Gives me another creature in play for heroic reinforcements and and honestly, like, I don't mind my opponent using removal spell on Deputy because whatever removal spell they have for Deputy is, like, removal that also kills Dawnbringer. So I'd actually kind of want them to use removal on Deputy. All right, we are 4-1. and one. So with this being a league, we are still in it. We are on to the final boss. See if we can go 5-1. and one. All right, we're going to need to get our final boss playlist going here. Final boss time, Hawkeye. Final boss time. <laughs> Hawkeye needs a mic so you can hear the purring. I know, right? I know, I get to hear Hawkeye's purring, but... Alright, Hawkeye, come here. We need your assist. Hawkeye always looks like such a long cat in like the if y'all if y'all are in the Discord channel, I put like even like last night I put a picture of Hawkeye on there. Like whenever he's laying down, he he always he stretches out so far. He looks like such a long cat in in the photos. Oh no, we're facing Gary. We just talked about how Gary has a new card. Gary Cursed Huntsman. New Planeswalker card. And Eldraine. Alright, so it looks like Esper Hero with it being with Tyrant Score, like Tyrant Score basically always means hero. So this was our one loss with the deck. All right, we attacking. Next turn we can go resurgence. Hey, Brutality, it's going very good tonight. We have had awesome records. We played uh, three decks in ranked and did really well with all three decks, and now our donation deck is doing really well as well. So, yeah, been real good. All right, no Legion Zen. That's good. <clears throat> but still, this just gives First Strike and Vigilance, so I, I guess that doesn't really help our hero, our soldiers too much. I guess I should have. Maybe I should have played Aurelia first before the reinforcements. Uh, my favorite, my favorite ranked deck of the night was the Kalia and Friends. That's my favorite deck that we played, but I think the mono red aggro was probably the strongest feeling. We just lost a mirror, but besides that, our deck felt really good. Reinforcements, darn, 
We have been flooding out against the Esper deck, though. So that's what we've been doing against the Esper deck here. But my opponent is just stuck on three lands, so they're the opposite. So if we can get, if we can finish it off, like, we may have the ability to finish it off, but, like, if they stabilize, uh, it'll be tough for us to get there. Hawkeye's trying to help. Okay, another hero. Ooh, so they're... They're going to have to block with a hero of Precinct 1 here. Because Aurelia is going to put them down to 1. So they have to go chump block, chump block, and then hero also. Ugh, can't get any haste. We get, like, so close to, to winning these ones that we've been losing, but we're just finishing out the games, just only drawing lands. But we're still really close here. Alright, so there's trading. So it's honestly, I, th I think that's good for me. Even though all they need is a removal spell for Aurelia, and then I have nothing. But I think that's good for me because my opponent has no pressure. Ooh. Okay, that'll... Is it... With them having no pressure, um, I get to... Kind of see if we draw any of our many haste cards. And I, I don't have to worry about my life total too much, so we have, like, a lot of draw steps. You know, for heroic reinforcements, Tajik. Um, the Lightning Storm can even Lightning Strike. Basically anything. I have come for vengeance and blood. So close. So I could bounce Guard Mage to do four to them, but then they get to just replay Guard Mage. The thing about bouncing Guard Mage is I may have lethal if we draw some kind of haste threat. But letting them replay Guard Mage and gain another three life draw card isn't spectacular. I think I think we're gonna draw the haste. I think we got it. I think we got it. Ugh, not haste. And I know I'm playing that into Kaiserath, but I don't think they have Kaiserath. Oh, well, I guess they have that thing. Warrior Queen 
Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Can we just draw any of those million haste things? Yay! We drew a haste thing. Alright, we got there. So yeah, for, for haste things we had we had the four stormkins, we had the two lightning strikes that would have killed them, we had all three Tajiks were there, we had three heroic reinforcements. So we had twelve cards that we were drawing to that whole time. The Gideons weren't good that last game because my opponent had millions of Hero of Precinct ones. So the Gideons weren't very good that last game that we played. But still, these, these Sky Knight Vanguards have just consistently just died and ne like they've never attacked. I think I just want to take them out still. I definitely want to take out Deputy. No reason to play that card. Not like in general, I mean like in this matchup. I could try playing one flame sweep. Or if they go crazy with Hero of Precinct 1 again, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll play one deputy. I guess that card is good against Hero of Precinct 1 tokens. Yeah, we're on we're on the draw. Okay, here we go. Uh just saying for like uh for the eventual game three. <laughs> Well, hopefully we don't have a game three. Hopefully not. Good mana. Better not legions end my night tokens again. My night tokens keep on getting legions ended. That's sad. Oh, right. Hawkeye's not in my lap. We can raise the camera back up. Yep, there you go. Unredeemable. You can find all the decks there. You can also see the replay of the decks, plus there's a link to the decks in the deck list description, or in the description of the, the YouTube videos there. So you can always find the, the decks later on as well. Oh, no, Jack Nolia forgot about that. I honestly just completely forgot about that. Moving the desk up. Uh, I just completely forgot. I think we're going to play the card they know about with the history instead of the card they don't know about with the Gideon. And honestly, I would rather history get countered than Gideon also, so don't mind that. Yeah, it's true. Yep, if you were on stream yesterday, you would have reminded me. Yeah, Stompy may be tier one in Eldraine. Green kind of has this isn't a everything. They got lots of stuff. You get. Here goes nothing. Why are they minusing there? I know this Tajik. Questing Beast is for real. Questing Beast is incredible. So yeah, Questing Beast with Vivian Arcbow Ranger. Definitely a good good pairing there. Timing. I've got time. Well, goose can do other things that elves can't, like being able to just make food. Like the goose can just make food that can help you get, that 
can gain you life. And so, like, if you just have a good amount of mana, it's like a, a longer game. Goose gets to do. Other thing, you know, can do more than what Land of could do. That's more like it. Yeah, Soul Time Midrange will definitely be good. And they're not going to miss the Explore Package. Uh, Explore Package has been pretty weak for a while now. They've just made more powerful stuff. But yes, Soul Time Midrange has a lot of good tools. I guess I have to play this deputy that I don't want to play. I wish deputy was Ferocidon. I'd much rather play Ferocidon here. Because all the deputy is just going to die. It just it just dies, and they just get a free Teferi back. You show remorse, I'll show remorse. So it always happens with deputy in this matchup. Like, what am I supposed to attack them for one twenty-two times? There's no way it doesn't die. I've done the hero thing before. Maybe I need to side out a land or something. Let's try this. Hey, that was uncalled for. Yeah, this is a Final Fantasy Seven boss music. I've got it. No, I, I don't have any plans right now for Brawl Dex. Um, I bet, like, your rock is probably... Man, for a, for a hero deck, they have tons of spells that do not trigger hero. I guess not tons, but good amount. No, yeah, so I, I don't have exact exact plans for Brawl decks yet. I, I mean, we're going to be making them and everything, but... With the 36 Planeswalkers from War of the Spark, there's plenty of ammunition for them as well. All right, not pl not gonna play deputy. Unredeemable. Please do not call cards cancer. Please do not do that. It really diminishes and insults people that have to to they've had to battle with cancer throughout their lives, and it's it's really insulting. Um, or from a lot of people that that say it it hurts uh, to have that their battle diminished in that way. So so please just don't refer to cards, decks, that kind of stuff in that way here. I don't have I don't have a a PlayStation 4 for the Final Fantasy 7 re remake. The only system I have is the Switch and they're not they're not doing the Final Fantasy 7 remake on the Switch, so I'm sad about that. 
Thanks, CPT love. Thank you. All right, good hand. Perfect, yep. Teferi is extremely frustrating to play against. That is very true. It was not, does not produce an enjoyable experience whatsoever. Forcing uh, forcing yourself to only be able to play during your main phase. Yeah, it's just, it's so good. I know. It's a little worried about playing like the other hero, Precinct 1, and then Legion's end. So no land drop over there. Right, we're just going for it, though. I mean, obviously they could still Legion's Ed and take the one from the hand, so why not? Might as well put it in play. This is a lot of damage. So if they Legion's Ed heroes, then these turn into 4 threes. So they kind of need to Legion's Ed the Knights. Yeah, they'd actually have to Legion's Ed Knights. If they Legion's Ed hero precinct one, they die. Or they just don't have Legion's Ed, they're also dead. And that'll do. That's the five win league here. Yeah, Cry the Carnarium would have been real bad. We would have definitely cried. They had Cry, we cry. Kind of thing. Ooh, we even got one of our 20 gems upgraded to 40 gems. Get some more gold. And we got another five win league with Jeskai Hero. So we've played this deck twice. Last time we went 5 0. This time we went 5 1. It kind of shows the power that that some of these these cards have. Like, I feel like we're getting fortunate, like a lot of the wins that we're getting fortunate with the deck. But a card like Hero of Precinct 1 or a card like History of Benalia, Heroic Reinforcements, they hit really hard and they punish any opponent that stumbles at all. Like, whenever our opponent stumbled at any point, like like early on in the game, as we saw like with those, like any early stumble, we just ran our opponents over. And that's like what happened all the time. And then sometimes we just have our aerial, aerial assault finish the games off between Aurelia, Stormkin... We didn't really do anything with Vanguard, but Stormkin and Aurelia with that aerial assault um, sure helped out. And then, yeah, Teferi, basically all this does is, is it just, uh, it's a really good tempo card. And so, like, if you're slowing your opponent down with the tempo, like, uh, like where they have to, like, keep replaying, like, their, their creatures, then, then your Heroic Reinforcements History Hero Precinct 1 can get on in there. Uh, I liked the Ferocidons in the sideboard. I liked those. I liked those quite a bit. I mean, I even liked Disdainful Stroke, even though we had a couple of times where they were stuck in hand. I liked those as well. Overall, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good deck here. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, and also leave some comments. I always like seeing the comments over there on YouTube also. But thanks for watching Jeskai Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.